Okay, so the trait for colorblindness is carried on the X chromosome, and it is a recessive allele. So we talked about how we created our, our chart in class, and so the phenotype for a normal vision female, she's going to have two large C's, which represent the dominant trait for colorblindness, so she does not have colorblindness. So on both of her X's, she has two big C's. A normal vision female, but who is a carrier, she carries the recessive allele for colorblindness, will have X big C, X lowercase c. That's the recessive defective allele for colorblindness, but she's a normal vision female um, because she has one dominant allele. A colorblind female, she's going to need two recessive alleles to show colorblindness. So on both of her X's, she needs two lowercase c's. A normal vision male, remember males, their sex chromosome, their genotype is XY, and we talked how the X chromosome is much larger than the Y chromosome, so we're going to see a lot of the traits passed on on the X chromosome. So in this case, a normal vision male has a large capital C, the dominant allele, on his X. A colorblind male will show a lowercase c on his X, which shows the recessive, the defective allele for colorblindness. And remember, we talked how um, more males are affected because they only need one allele, one recessive allele in this case, to have the disorder. So let's take a look at our practice problem. Our first problem, a woman who is a carrier for colorblindness marries a normal vision male. What is the probability that they will have a colorblind child? So the first thing I want you to do is underline the important parts. A woman who is a carrier, so we have a woman carrier, she marries a normal vision male. What is the probability that they will have a colorblind child? Okay, so we need to make our key. A nor if you have normal vision, you're going to have the dominant allele, and we represent that with a capital C. If you show for colorblindness, which is a recessive sex-linked trait, you're going to have lowercase c. And remember, when we make our lowercase letters, we put a small line underneath to differentiate between uppercase and lowercase. So now that we have our key, a woman, so we have our female, she's a carrier. I know females are capital X, capital X, right? But she is a carrier. So she's going to have a big C, which indicates she's normal, but she carries the disorder and could pass it on. So she has a little C. And then the male, he is a normal vision male. So if he's a male, he's XY, and he's normal vision, so on his X, he's going to have a capital C. Let's do our Punnett square. Okay, we'll put the male up top here, and the female, X, capital C, X, lowercase c, and then inside of our boxes. And in here, this is lowercase. Let's just make that so we can see. Oop, see it a little better. Okay. So in each box, I want you to write the phenotype. So here we have X big C, X big C. This is a normal female. X big C Y, that's a normal male. And then here we have X big C, little X, little C. This is normal vision female, but she's a carrier. And then here we have another male with a lowercase c on his x. This is a colorblind male. So what's our percent that they will have a colored child, colorblind child? Okay, so we can see it'll be one out of four or 25 percent. Okay, next problem. Okay, 
So in this case, we're still going to use our same key. All right, and let's read through the problem. We're going to underline the important parts, create a key, and then do our Punnett square. Mr. Toombs, if you're in the building, please dial 2212. So we have a colorblind woman who marries a colorblind male. What is the probability they will have a colorblind child? Okay, so in nor normal vision, we'll show the dominant allele, and colorblindness will show the lowercase. We have a colorblind woman, so we have a woman with colorblindness. So if we take a look here, a woman that shows for colorblindness is going to have two defective alleles, two recessive alleles on her X's. So she's going to be X little c, X little c. And then we have the male, um, the man. He's also colorblind, right? He's colorblind, um, and he sh he's has one recessive allele on his X. And then you're going to do your pun and square. Here's the male, X, little c, Y. And then the female. Okay, and then we do our pun and square. Okay, so in this box here, this is a female. She has two recessive alleles. This female is, so this is a female, color blind. This is a male, XY, with one recessive allele. So he is also color blind. Here we have a female, two recessive alleles. She is color blind. And another male, one recessive allele on his X, and he is also colorblind. So what is the probability they will have a colorblind child? Well, in every box here, we see only recessive alleles. So in this case, 100%. Four out of four, or 100%. I hope that helps with some of your problems on your work, and I'll see you soon.